Cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping the movie called, Throne of Elves. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins in the elves' kingdom. The elf princess called Princess Nerwin is getting prepared for her wedding ceremony. She is being congratulated by her best friend called Leah, who makes the preparation for her. Leah begs the princess that she also has a human friend she wants to invite for the ceremony. Without hesitation, the princess agrees to her request and joyfully, Leah hurries outside making use of her magical arrow to send the invitation to her friend. The invitation finally got to Lambert, who is not just a friend to Leah actually, but they are lovers who separated a long time ago. Upon reading the message, Lambert is so excited that he is finally going to meet his girlfriend again after all these years. On the other hand, dark and evil elf called Princess Elena, has a very powerful dark gem in her possession. She uses its powers to raise dead warriors from the dead. As her plan is to steal a powerful life gem from the elf kingdom, so she can gain absolute power. Lambert is accompanied by a ship captain and a good friend of his called, Barnick, who helps with the transportation to the elves kingdom, and as well a blacksmith friend who follows them on their journey. Lambert and the rest finally arrives at the elves kingdom. After all these years, Lambert and Leah are finally able to unite again. They both played and have fun for a little while, although her brother who is the groom of the wedding ceremony isn't happy seeing them together, because he sees it as an abomination for humans and elves to be engaged. Princess Nerwin takes Leah to where the life gem is, and explains to her that originally, there was only one gem. But the gods split the gem into two. Half of it represents life, and other half represents death. The life gem is in Princess Nerwin possession, while the dark gem is in the evil elf possession. She hands over the life gem to Leah believing the gem is no longer safe in her hands, sensing someone might be coming for it. The wedding ceremony is about to begin, and as Lambert and Bernack are about to enter, they are stopped by elf guards, who tells them to drop their weapon before they can enter the ceremony. The wedding ceremony finally begins, and all the elves are gathered, singing a bridal chorus with their angelic voices. Immediately, Princess Nerwin is escorted by Leah on her wedding dress. During the wedding, we get a flashback that Princess Nerwin also told Leah concerning not telling anybody about the life gem, including her boyfriend whom she trusts the most. In order to protect the gem, Leah must cut off her relationships, which is staying away from Lambert. The groom and the bride approaches each other, and the elves releases their light to the sky, and the couples are proclaimed husband and wife. Immediately they placed a ring on each other's finger. Suddenly, the dark elf arrives with her army and started to disrupt the wedding. Her aim is for the life gem, who she believes is still in the Princess Nerwin possession. The dark elf defeated the guards protecting the princess, and asks her about the location of the life gem. Lambert sees Princess Nerwin getting tortured by the dark elf, and quickly gets an arrow and successful fires a shot at her. But out of anger the dark elf returns the arrow back to him, which places a curse on him. As for Princess Nerwin, she is captured by the dark elf, who tells the elves that if they want to see their Princess Nerwin again, the life gem should be brought to her in three days. Suddenly, the elf prince prepare the armies for battle and as Lambert wants to help out, Leah tells him to go back to the human kingdom, believing the war won't be safe for him. But Lambert still returns as they are on their way to the dark elf basement, and begs Leah that he wants to help out. He gives her a suggestion of going to be dark elf basement just by themselves and rescue Princess Nerwin. She is hesitant for a second, but later agrees to follow Lambert. Lambert and Leah successfully infiltrated the dark elf basement, and sees where Princess Nerwin is held. But it turns out that they both got themselves in the dark elf trap. They are able to get out of there in time and goes to warn the other elves. But the elf prince is really angry for Leah trusting a human in the mission after all the trust princess has on her. Due to this, she dismisses Lambert, telling him to go back although he wants to be with her to the end. But as he sees her mind is already made up, he goes back heartbroken. Meanwhile, Princess Nerwin is brought out by the dark elf, waiting for the prince's subordinates to hand over the life gem for her release, here we find out that they are both sisters, and the dark elf was formerly known as Princess Elena. But unfortunately for her, their parents showed more affection for Nerwin than her, to the extent of even crowning her as the princess, while she was left aside. That was how she became the dark elf. Lambert is on his way heartbroken, and suddenly the curse the dark elf placed on him started to manifest and manipulate his mind. Swiftly, he goes to the Dark Elf to know what she has done to him. The Dark Elf informs Lambert about the trap, which is going to finish off Leah, the prince and the other elves in the process. The Dark Elf tries to manipulate Lambert's mind in bringing the life gem to her, but Lambert is able to fight his way out of the Dark Elf control, and hurries to save Leah and her people. 
as the prince and Leah are on their way in search for the Dark Elf, they are all ambushed by the Dark Elf armies. The prince armies defends by firing arrows at them, but it turns out the arrows aren't doing them any harm, as the shots they are firing isn't killing it. In time Lambert not wanting to give up on Leah, also arrives at the incident to assist them. They are all surrounded, but Barnet comes to their rescue and transfers them to his ship. But even after that, the elf prince doesn't seem to be grateful. Instead he proposes to buy their ship so that they can leave. Burnett gets angry upon hearing that and goes away. Leah confronts the prince, asking why is turning away from Lambert and Barnick. Even though they were the ones that rescued them from the ambush, it turns out that the prince knows of Lambert's curse, and informs Leah that it's only a matter of time and Lambert will fully be under the control of the Dark Elf. Leah suggests to use the life gem to help Lambert from the curse, but the prince tells her that it has never been attempted on a human before which could make Lambert's situation worse. Lambert who hears everything is outranged, and steals the map from them. So he can negotiate with the Dark Elf in exchange for Princess Nerwin freedom. But instead, the Dark Elf is able to use the curse to fully manipulate Lambert's mind and makes him go after the life gem. Lambert arrives at their ship again, and tries to take the life gem from Leah by force, only for Leah and Lambert to end up fighting each other. As the prince wants to kill Lambert, Bernac prevents him from doing so, but unfortunately, Leah is out of options, realizing that if she doesn't kill Lambert, things might get worse. She then fires a shot at Lambert. Leah weeps really bad, seeing her dear Lambert on the ground. It then comes to her realization that there is no point of protecting the life gem, if it can't be used to protect their loved ones. Suddenly, Leah places the life gem of Lambert's chest, which brings Lambert back to life. But sadly, the life gem wasn't able to break the dark elf curse, making Leah very devastated. Now the only option left is to free Princess Nerwin and defeat the Dark Elf. With no other choice, the prince decides to do this together with the humans. And they all head to the Dark Elf basement. As they reach the basement, the Dark Elf attacks them with her own armies. She tries to collect the life gem from Leah by force but Lambert takes her away. And the prince fires a shot which makes the Dark Elf ship to crash. Immediately Leah gets the gem back to its right owner, Princess Nerwin, and as the Dark Elf is about to kill Leah, Princess Nerwin makes use of the Life Gem which is able to capture the Dark Elf and saves them all. But it turns out it's not yet over, as the Dark Elf uses the Black Gem, to transform herself into a dragon. Princess Nerwin tries to stop her but isn't strong enough this time around. The Dark Elf as a dragon chases after them to a hiding spot. But fortunately for them, Lambert gets an idea on how to defeat the Dark Elf. They carry out the plan, as Princess Nerwin comes out, pretending to willingly hand over the life gem to her. As the dark elf comes for it, she throws it to one of her guards. It turns out that their plan is to pass on the life gem to each other, so they can lead the dark elf to confusion. And Lambert is able to use its distraction to defeat it by throwing her in burning flames, which kills her instantly. Lambert is finally able to break free from the dark elf curse, and peace is brought back to their land. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.